What's up Raiders, this is Joel, GSG, Games is Gaming, coming to you with a video strategy guide for the Cozumel Collectibles and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. After entering into the ruins in the first room, you want to go to the back left and on the wall is going to be the first mural. A little bit about my collectible videos, I do them in the order of story progression so you can unlock them in this order. Next up is your first death whistle carving, and that is part of the whistle in the dark challenge that's in this region. After using rope pull on the door to reveal the passage, scramble underneath the traps, look up and you will find the first carving. Once you come to the end of the dark tunnel, you're going to enter the next large room. Look up and to the right and you will see another carving. There are multiple collectibles in this room. So we're going to start this off by heading down the path to the right all the way at the end. You're going to see a shimmering glint on the ground. And you're going to get that dig icon. You want to dig up the first survival cache. <clears throat> Going down the pathway to the right again. This time before we reach the dead end, you want to look to the right and there's going to be a small room. Head inside that room, look up and to the left and you can scramble up that wall. Once you get up there, Head to the exit to the left and then look down to the right for the first relic. Now we're going to go swimming for the first time. You want to get into the water and look to the right. And then you're going to dive down and you'll see a tunnel down there. You want to follow it towards the end of it and you will see a glint and that's going to be the second survival cache. Heading back into the water, you want to swim towards the middle and dive down. Look towards the floor and you will see your second relic. Following the objective, you're going to swim into a tunnel, and once you emerge into a room, you want to look to the right, and you're going to find another death whistle carving. Now, I'm pretty sure the Archivist map do not count towards your completion. But I do show them when I do find them, and this one is going to be against the back wall. The rest of our collectibles are in this large room with the pyramid. On the second set of bells, you want to get to the second bell and look right in front of you, and you will see another death whistle carving. From that last bell, you're going to jump over to the platform, and once you get over there, you want to look to the left, and near that wall is going to be a document. Once you reach the row post, you want to tether a rope between the two posts. And once you get to the end, you're going to turn around and you're going to see a craggy wall right below you. You want to drop down and rappel all the way down and you're going to swing all the way to the platform below you. Once you get there, there's going to be a survival cache. There's also an explorer backpack right next to it and that's going to be this next clip.
Now we're gonna head back down to that area and collect the Explorer backpack. Hopefully you already did. And if you're wondering why I use separate clips instead of a single clip for multiple items, that is because it's very convenient in the timeline. If you're looking for one single thing, you don't have to watch an entire video to figure out how I got there. So now you know the why, so hopefully that prevents the comment commandos from blasting the video. And again, I am pretty sure that the Archivist map and the Explorer backpacks do not count towards the completion. From the start of the rope post, you're going to climb up the rope and once you get to the top, you want to drop and walk a short distance up and to the right you will find a mural. From the crank at the cart puzzle, you're going to look up out towards the pendulums and hanging from a beam is going to be the final death whistle carving. Shoot that down and complete the whistle in the dark challenge. The final collectible in this area requires the lockpick. In order to obtain the lockpick, you're going to have to progress in the story. Once you reach the hidden city, there's going to be a side mission that you can do, find Taki's dice, and during that side mission, you're going to find a merchant, and that merchant is going to sell you the lockpick. Now that you have the lockpick, you're going to use the roll post and climb all the way to the top, and once you do, you want to turn around and look all the way to the other end. You're going to see another roll post. You're going to fire a rope across, and you're going to climb the rope all the way to the other side. Once you get into that small room, look to the left and you will find a treasure chest. And that's going to do it for the collectibles in this region. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you are a returning raider, I want to thank you for coming back. Welcome back. And if you're new, that's okay. Hopefully you follow this video series. Thanks for watching, guys.